Hey folks, I've been recently updating to Blender 3.1 and there's a couple of new options with the coloring fill tool that I also implemented in my workflow and I want to quickly show you. Let's have a look. So here we are in Blender 3.1 and in the bottom left as usually you see my shortcuts. First of all to switch between the draw and the fill tool you can press shift Q and shift G only annoying thing is when you're in the fill tool you still have to switch here the material to close these these gaps here if you want to color in you press Control shift and then draw and it gives you this tiny line here let's do that for a couple ones so we can fill an an area Let's say like this and then we select our color here either through, through this or the new thing as well is to click on your stylus here on the top where I have put my right click and you can select your vertex color here um, however you like it and then on a new layer you fill in your your shape there's also another new thing here, dilated contract. You can put this up, let's say for, for the fun of it, put it up to nine. Then it kind of goes over the edge and that can be very handy. Maybe nine is a bit much obviously, but something plus two plus one usually gives you a good result. Plus two even is too much, so one. Now we still have these gaps here that you can Oh, maybe get away by hiring the precision yeah see now you have it all filled in and now you still have these weird lines here and to get rid of them you can go under draw here oh, draw clean up boundary strokes and then all these are gone and you still have your beautiful drawing that is open like you maybe have intended it to be. Yeah, if you want to color pick something, then let's say we're in a different color and you want to go back to the screen, you can go over your color here on the N, in the N bar and press E and then choose your color. Yeah, so here we have it. I showed you how to do the, the strokes to do how to get rid of them by cleaning up here, then how to quickly choose your colors for filling by right clicking and how to color pick when hoovering over your color wheel press E and then you can choose your color and color in. That wraps it up. I hope you could take something away from this video. If you want to learn more about Blender and my keyboard shortcuts that I set up for 2D animation Feel free to check out the link in the description below, leading you to my Gumroad course, teaching you everything that you would need to know to start using Blender as a 2D frame by frame tool without the 3D parts of it. I hope to see you soon on this channel with a lot more tutorials and quick tips all around Blender and other 2D animation tools. Until then, bye bye.